Hello guys, this is Roger69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, in this video I'm going to give you my thought for this Superman story arc, which is called Black Dawn. Here's part one, Superman issue number 20, which I love that cover. It has that classic renaissance. Look at that. Love it. Part two, issue number 21. Also another red cover. Part 3, issue number 22. Part 4, issue number 23. I like it. I always like the covers where they have a, a white background. Uh, I always like it. Part 5, issue number 24, nice cover. And the last part, issue number 25, part 6. We shall love the cover, check that out. Awesome, double size, nice. Okay, let's get started with the story. The story, well, a lot of stuff. Uh, this kind of like answer a few questions that we had and uh, and I'm not talking about about rebirth per se more more about Clark Kent's neighbor okay issue number 20 the issue start we see uh, well we see uh, Superboy or G little John trying to fly look at that but he cannot fly yet so we see Superman flying over the town, we see some of the citizens that they are content because Superman is flying above, above. We see that Clark Kent is content with his life. I mean, everything's, everything's cool on the town, everything's fine. So we see that they are, they are having a family moment until the he sees uh, John, he hears a noise. So he put up his suit, like, okay, let's see what's going on. But happens to be when, before he could, he could get out, Clark Kent, Superman goes to the barn and tells whoever is inside coming out, which happens to be Batman and Damien. Or in this case, Batman and Robin. So the thing is that Louis Lane find out what's going on and Louis like being the boss of the house. But she says, look, let's go in, let's all of us go inside to have some coffee and pie so we can have a normal conversation as normal people. All this hiding in the dark and the shadows in the barn, well, that doesn't go with me. That's Louis Lane. So the thing is that, <laughs> that John asked Damien, don't, don't you dad like pie or apple pie? And Damien says, Batman doesn't eat apple pie. Love this page. Look at that. You can see Batman's face sitting on the table, having coffee and pie, which he doesn't feel too happy about. I mean, he's the Batman. He's supposed to be on top of the building, swinging side by side. Being on the shadows, dark corners, bad caves. I mean, everything bad. Everything that is Batman is dark, <laughs> and he's sitting here having coffee and pie with the lights on. I can see now his mind, like how I got into, how I got into this. So the thing is, the reason why Batman went to visit uh, Clark Kent is because, well. Batman believes he's suspecting of Little John. Batman believes that somebody or something is holding Little John's powers back. The reason why he cannot fly, not because his power, his power has not developed, is because something's holding his powers back. So 
So he's trying to investigate. So he's trying to, he asked Louis Lane, what kind of food are you giving him? And Louis, and Louis, she get a little bit offensive about, like, well, there is no, there is no junk food around here for miles. So everything that he's been eating is being organic. Even the milk is fresh from our neighbor's cow. So more fresh than that, you cannot get it. I mean, there is no Burger King, McDonald's, or anything that on around this town. So Batman kind of like suspect of the cow. <laughs> well, we know that Batman he suspect everything and everyone, even the cow. He can even look a cow, mind even his own business, and you can see Batman like, okay, there's something fishy about that cow. You know, I can see now Batman kind of like investigating the cow. So. <coughs> So that's so that's Batman new case, the cow. Although he has a cow on the back end, but it's not the same cow. So anyway, the thing is that that we see that uh, that John is flying on his on his stream, but actually he's not. So he will wake up early in the morning. Uh, Damien doesn't like the idea of waking up in the morning because well, we know that they are night people, and John is day people. So they finally meet. They never with the special cow, the one that brings John's milk every morning. So the thing is that we see the old man talking to Krypton. To Krypton. Oh, Krypton, actually. And look at it. Kind of like the eyes are glowing. So the old man, he's kind of suspicious. So then from there we see that, that suddenly Batman G just disappeared. He just went poof. So we see Superman, John, and then in searching for them all over town. So basically this whole issue is about them. Now only that, that, that while they are searching for them, a big, uh, what's the name of it? A big uh, a giant squid show up in town, which is the same squid that appears on Superman issue number two. So just to let you know. Okay, now I have to say that I like the colors and the art, really nice. And then we see that they are trying to to stop the squid, and they come on like a glue, not glue, kind of like a, a gooey person, made out of mud or something, just kind of like watching that he's trying to take over the kids, the kids fight back. While all that's going on, trying uh, Superman's trying to save the people, keep an eye on the kids, and Superman tell tell Superboy to stay here. The thing is that he did not listen. The thing is that right here, this is the beginning when when Superman realized that he's not that his son, Little John, is not he's been he's just been like a rebellious a rebel kid. I guess all kids go through that stage. Even I did. So, this is the moment when Superman, with all his powers, superpowers, he now he stumbled into watching his son growing up and being a little bit rebellious, rebel towards him, which is normal. So the thing is that we see that Damien tried to talk him out of it, and John says, "Well, you just stay away, just stay, stay away from me because of you. I get in trouble with my dad, so I don't want you near me." And kind of like little Damien tell John, kind of like a wussy or chicken. So they are end up fighting. They end up fighting, and and somebody is holding Damien back. It happens to be the little girl, John's friend. Now I never got to see. I mean, I never thought I'm gonna ever, I ever gonna see this. Seeing Damien hanging, look at that. So the little girl is using her mental power, her telekinesis, I think it's called, or psychic, that it can move, can move stuff. So she's kind of choking them because she wants them to stop fighting. 
the thing is that she they are the one that are holding uh, John's powers back. So then from there we go, we're, uh, we see Superman that is getting kind of like into a house. Dark house. Okay, part three. Now, I love this cover. Just amazing. Now, now this story is so good. And then from there we go to the house where, where we see Louis Lane looking at the footage about what happened in town. And then she decides now the little John's tree is on fire where he used to hang out with his with his friend with his uh, with his girl neighbor friend so she decides to search for for them so her first stop is on her neighbor's house the old man with the cow and they said no we haven't seen him everything's fine this and that so the thing is that she saw a video where when the squid attack uh, she got injured and then suddenly she see her all right, all cure, all healed. And that kind of like make her wonder. So she decides to go to her house. The house happens to be uh, Candy's. So she decides to go to Candy's house just to be stumbled that on Candy's house, while she have a bunch of cameras, a bunch of monitors, just just checking up on Superman and John. So actually she knows their secret. Look at it. And she kind of like shows up. Louis Lane kick her, uh, kick her. I mean, she's very feisty. And she used, and then she uh, tried to, she, she just jump on the truck and she just run away and she was there is a high speed chasing and when she gets to her house guess who's there well a lot of people from her town the, the school principal John's teacher the neighbors uh, the guy from the from the shopping town and some other people in her house so the thing is that they want to stop her because she she went to her house to get the just to sleep radio kind of like like the signal thingy I don't know but, but they already have it on his hand as you can see so the thing is that she go to her room and that's when she becomes Iron Man she got the rub of Iron Man at least that's what it looks like look look at that that blood that looks like Iron Man. <laughs> and she's, and she, I mean, and she kicks everybody's ass. Mm, excuse me. I mean, she kicks everybody's ass. Big time. Big time. And then while, while she's trying to, uh, to escape, the bad movie shows up. Remote control, he just show up. She gets in and she tries to control it. Eventually, she managed to control the, the bad movie and she just run all over, all over those people. Look at that. Just amazing double spread page. And then from there we go to the town where the bad movie the bad movie just fall apart by the old man with the cow. You see his mind power, he just took every, every the bad movie apart. And then we see that Superman is standing in front of a bunch of kind of like a test tube. I mean, it's really a good story though. Part four. Look at that. Issue number twenty-three. Bad. Okay. Okay. We go. We see back in town, and Louis Lane is trying to defend herself against the old man. So the old, so the old man, we using her mind because use her mind to crush uh, Louis Lane's glove. But not only he crushed her glove, also kind of like fractured her hand. And she screamed, and and this is where we find out that Superman was right on the knee of them on the ground, and she heard her scream, and he just fly through the, through the ground against the old man. Look at that. That was the end of it. <laughs> Look at that. So he says, "Louis Lane." So the guy says, "Hello, Superman," or should I call you? Clark and Superman says, Well, I don't care 
why do you call me? Just tell me where's my son? And what's going on? The thing is that his son got kidnapped. Little John and little Damien, they both got kidnapped. So he believes that the old man is responsible of it. The thing is that he's not. In a way, he is and he's not. So from there, we go to elsewhere, where we see uh, little John looking at a bunch of TV, mo uh, TV monitors, looking, he's watching his father's fight and everything. The thing is that Superman managed to apprehend the, the old man, and then he goes to town, and then he sees that the town is being invaded by a bunch of sea creatures. We see a giant lobster, giant shrimp, and then not only that, that we see a bunch of superpowers helping him, helping Superman, which they call themselves the super elite. The thing is that Superman, he's top monster, but this guy, the super elite, they stop the monster, but they also killed him. And we know that Superman, he doesn't like to kill, not even a cat. So and then we, we have the super elite killing those creatures. Yeah. I mean, they are saving people, but Superman says, well, stop killing. So the thing is that they call themselves the super elite. I mean, a lot of stuff is going on, but on, on each page, there's a lot of stuff going on. So the thing is that while they are fighting the creatures, Superman, without thinking, he did not pay attention where Lewis was, and she got wounded on the leg. And Superman got worried. He flies towards her, and he says, "Look, if you have a deep wound. I'm going to use my uh, my heat vision to close it." The thing is that while she's going through pain, John's seeing it on the TV monitor, and that's when somebody tells him, "White is white, black is black." Well, there is good, the old, the also is bad. So he see his mom suffering, uh, we are uh, suffering, going through a lot of pain. So that that person is trying, is telling Damien, uh, John, that is his father's fault, as we can see here. So that guy is getting into John's mind. And guess who that guy is? Uh, Manchester Black. Oh, look at it. If some of you don't know Manchester Black, remember that animated movie called Superman and the and the Elite? Well, that's the same Manchester on that animated movie? Well, it's the same Manchester here. Okay. Part 5, issue number 24. My hair. Okay, now we know who the main guy is. Now we're going back in time another place. Now remember the old man with his granddaughter? Well, this is them. You see, they belong to another race. Another race. They come from another planet. That they use their mind to look like us. That's why everybody thinks that they are normal. So they were brought to Earth, them and, a, and a, because they are the only two are left, and the one who brought them back was Manchester Black. So, so they brought him to Earth so that way they can spy on Superman. Plus, plus the the super elite, which happens to be the same people from that planet. So we see Superman at the hospital. He took Louis Lane. So he decides to, well, it's time to look for John. And he just flies away. So he decides to go to the old man's house. So instead to look, go inside and go downstairs like everyone else, well, Superman decides to leave the house by himself. <laughs> I find that so funny. And then while he's doing that, John shows up. He says, Dad. So Superman is kind of worried just to be surprised by the presence of Manchester Black and Superman knows who that guy is and he immediately uh, attack him just 
to be attacked back by him. So it was futile. So it was no way for Superman to defend him, fight against Manchester, uh, Man Manchester's Black. So the thing is that while we see Superman down, he said just two words. He says, sick it. And guess who shows up? Crypto. Ha <laughs> ha. So now the dog Crypto, we get to see him in action, finally. So he's fighting Manchester Black. So so he kind of like, he subdued the dog. So by using his own mind, Manchester Black managed to, to arise. Remember the cat that Little John had on issue number one that he actually, that it was taken by a flying eagle? And John tried to save the cat. He used his heat vision by mistake and killed the eagle and the cat. So Manchester Black managed to bring John's his skeleton cat back to life. Look at that. Incredible. <laughs> that was fun. So now from there we, we see that finally he took John and Superman to that dark place that he's at. Which I believe is happy to be his mind. So the thing is that the old man and, the, and, and his granddaughter shows up trying to save Superman. The thing is that, well, it did not work. The old man died. So while all that's going on, we see that finally Superboy or this guy, or John, is already possessed by a black gooey. So he's trying to to fight now. He's now he's his turn to fight his father because he already been possessed by Manchester Black. So now he's going to try to kill his own father. That's why we see here on the cover Manchester Manchester Black with John next to him and Superman all. Like if he was defeated. Part 6. Issue number 25. Superboy stop. This is how it starts. Look at that. Awesome. The thing is that the kid is being possessed. Look at that. Awesome. So. The thing is that, that we see that Demi is trying to save. I mean, so so Damien believes that the old man's uh, granddaughter is part of the of, of is part of part of the team of Manchester Manchester Black. So the girl is trying to to help John, and Damien push her. Oh boy, just to be knocked down by by Superman. I mean, he just like do not. Don't touch her. So we see Superboy fighting Batman. Batman says, look, I know that you are in a dark place. You can get out of it. You have, you have to control. And then we see uh, Frankenstein's girlfriend trying to help them, but with no chance. Because Superboy, well, he actually defeated that. He actually defeated everybody. So, I mean, even, even Manchester... Black chop uh, Frankenstein hand and head. Look at that. I have to say I love the art. I mean this is a fat this is a fast paced story. Really nice. And then we see look at that. Look at that. So we see that Manchester Manchester Black has full position or full control of Little John. So the thing is that Little John is trying to, he is going to town, trying to destroy it. So his father is trying to, to stop it with no, with no chance. The thing is that it's been established here between lines that Superboy, or in this case, Superboy, uh, Little John is more powerful than Superman, that he's going to be more powerful than Superman, in every sense of the word. 
and that's because well because he's half Kryptonian and half human so that will make him more stronger than his father at what level I don't know but it seems like like John he's gonna be he's gonna be because of first I know uh, John uh, Measurement Hunter is almost at the same level as Superman and I think Shazam is the same level as Superman I believe so maybe a little bit lower than Superman or more or less but John John and Superman are more or less the same level of power so John is above Superman is way above Superman John and Shazam so Maybe not now because this is a brand new character, but eventually, years to come, they're gonna develop him. Maybe he's gonna be the next Superboy, where he's gonna be more powerful than his father. Which that we are, which if that's if that's gonna be the case, I wanna I would, I would like to wonder what kind of story they're gonna make with him because making a story about Superman is already difficult of being so powerful. So imagine John being more powerful than his father. <laughs> so uh, I'm curious what kind of story they're going to do. Well, back to the story. So we see that Louis Lane trying to talk to his son. The thing is that it did not work. The thing is that that the, the old man's granddaughter, she got... Uh, she got in the middle because Louis Lane was the only one who could calm down, who could, who could calm down John. So John kind of like got loose from the possession of Manchester Black. Now at that moment Manchester was going to attack Louis Lane and John. And the old man's granddaughter, she ran and stood between them just to use her power, her mind power. Look at that. So she actually saved John and Lewis. The thing is that, and look at this potion. Look at that. I would say that, I have, that the half of a state just went up the smoke. If, even the cow got hit. Look at that. Look at that. Over here, even the cow got hit by that explosion. <laughs> the thing is that because what she did was that she told John to hold her hand. So that way that when Manchester Black will use his mind power against them, it will ricochet back, double power. And that's what happened. So actually, Manchester Black, he's cacophony. He just kind of like in a coma. He's in a coma. And that was it. So Superman is trying to talk to, to the super elite to say, look, you're a bunch of bad guys. So we, you're going to the other side. Look, we try to help. It's just we, we've been in possession, but we came from some other planet, and this is our home, and blah, blah, blah. Superman says, okay, fine, I, we believe you, and so this rebuilt. So after the town is rebuilt, well, Superman is happy again. As we can see, everything is back to normal, except that the old man, well, is dead. And we see that little John's tree that is burned, so the girl brought it back to life by touching it. She got kind of like the power of healing or something. Look at that. So, you know, so now John is happy because he got his his tree back. So now he climbed the tree with, with the girl. The girl is living alone, but she can take care of herself. The thing is that John, as we can see, he began to be able to fly. Which eventually, that's what he do. Look at that. Now he's flying. And Superman is happy. Everything's happy. So, you know, Lewis and Clark give each other a big kiss. And everything's fine. Except that, that back to the farmhouse, we see a couple of kids. And they say, well, I've been waiting for a while to get here. 
because they were talking about Manchester Black. The thing is that when they believed that they saw Manchester Black, they offered him a cigarette. Well, that Manchester Black happens to be the cow. Now, remember the cow that got that I showed you that got hit by that big explosion? Well, this is the cow. Seems like the cow has the power of Manchester Black or has something from him inside of a, of a cow. So eventually we're going to see this cow again. So the kids, they decide to give the cigarette to the cow thinking, well, maybe Manchester Black is back. So what they do, they will, uh, so what the kids do, they give the cow a smoke, I mean a cigarette, and they decide to, uh, to tip over the cow, to tip her, to tip over. And that's how the story ends. Tipping the cover over. Ah. So it was good. I like it. The, the question that got answered in the beginning of the video is about uh, Clark Kent's neighbor, the old man and his granddaughter. Because we knew, if you are reading from issue number one, I knew that they were not normal. I don't know what were the other reason, and I thought they were bad guys. Well, happen to be the good. Mm, excuse me. They happen to be the good guys, and it was a fun story. I really like it. Sorry if the video took too long, but hey, it has a lot of story in here. So overall, I love the story, love the art, like the flow of the story, where it. I mean, just simple, straightforward story. That's it. I mean, I like stories like this. And simple. Love it. So the best cover, the best cover for me from this whole thing uh, would be this one. Love the cover. Check that out. Just love this cover. Yep. And I will give this story art 4.5 out of 5. Because it was a good story. It was really good. Really good. Kind of story that you enjoy to read it and after you read it you're kind of like happy because you read a good story what can i say superman on the new reaper it's been awesome they've been doing great stories with this new superman from the 90s and like i said this story arc is 4.5 out of 5 i love it what can i say well guys this is it I hope that you like this video. Till later. Bye.